Hello, and welcome to Courage to Change. You are loved. This is a daily reading series from, yes, the book from Al-Anon. This comes on the heels of a family member who um, lost their life due to addiction. I want to be there to help support the families that are going through their loss. At the same time, I want to be there as a support to those who may be affected by addiction. And I'm dedicating this series to the individuals who lost their lives to addiction. And the number ha is staggering for the family and friends that I have lost because of addiction. And I have to do something. And this is my something. This is my way of being able to help support. These are the readings from Courage to Change. And this is October 30th. When I was a newcomer to Al-Anon, I remembered hearing people say they were grateful to be involved with an alcoholic. Needless to say, I thought they were crazy. Wasn't the alcohol alcoholic the cause of the grief? I couldn't believe that these people had anything to be grateful for, yet they seemed to be happy despite their own problems, which sounded exactly like my own. Today, I find that I am grateful to have found Al-Anon. I, too, needed to hit a kind of a bottom feel type of pain and reach out for help before I could find any lasting happiness. Because of Al-Anon, I have a relationship with a higher power that I never knew existed and friends who give me real support. I have learned that gratitude and forgiveness are necessary for my own peace of mind. Now I can truly say that I am grateful member of Al-Anon. Today's reminder, today I will practice gratitude. I will think of some of the things big and small for which I am grateful. Maybe I'll even put this list in writing and share it, share it with you and also my Al-Anon friends. Sometimes a tiny action can be a great step towards seeing my life with increasing joy. And a quote from Al-Anon. When things look blackest, it is within my power to brighten them with the light of understanding and gratitude. So for October 30th, gratitude and forgiveness. The way I look at forgiveness is forgiveness is for you to forgive yourself for maybe how you have felt in the past of some of your wrongdoings, but also having the forgiveness of maybe the ill will you have towards the individual who has addiction. I understand firsthand how difficult it is because all we want to do is help make our family member or our friend better and we can't and we get frustrated so remember forgiveness is for you and gratitude yes make that list of the things that you're grateful for I have and it certainly helps keep me on track so I too don't become one that struggles in pain I do want to live in happiness and, of course, support those that are struggling. Remember, you are loved. You are not alone. Courage to change. This is your reading for October 30th.